Top of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. P.O. Positive or that P. Take it away, Bert. Morning, Jr. I'm afraid it's a pet peeve from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around.
I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. Sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Yikes. I well, guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. <laughs> Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Did you grow tired of the lake already? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? Oh, I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Okay, I'll take that into account for next time. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Oh, interesting. 
I work in computers too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in computers. No, this is just my temporary job. Yeah, this is temporary for me too. Excuse me, but I have to get this done. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? 
I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got. Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Uh, Morgan. That walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? To be honest, I told him that Frank had some suspicious things going on. Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry. It's on Frank anyways. But he'll find a way to get out of it. He always does. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, you tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. He's, uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> 
funny. That's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama slammers, cheers! This is fun. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. All right, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or the great mouse detective. At least give me some guidance though, like... What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, which was, well, weird. Unsettling too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite memorable as well. Heard anything about the Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney movie, Mouse Detective. What do you need? A road map? What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. All right, I'm ready to pick. Blue Velvet. Good choice. This is going to be... interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of speechless. And that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it. And I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. At one point, I did begin to wonder, do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> well, give it time. So anyway, my parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move! I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. You mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake and then just enjoy the sunset. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now.
Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? <laughs> They're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today.